finally, <laughs> we're here. Mark Muchar versus Trevor Bryan. Yay. <laughs> excited, excited, excited. Mark Muchar, 31 and 4, faces Trevor Bryan, 20 and 0, in a bout that has implications towards the Joshua Slash Fury mega fight. In all likelihood, the winner will be in prime position to challenge AJ of Fury as the WBA's mandatory challenger and collect a lucrative payday. So, yeah, that's according to boxing scene. Don't don't hold me to that. I'm, I'm, I'm not putting my neck on the line saying this fight takes place. So, yeah, if this fight doesn't take place, I, I didn't tell you it's going to take place, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, so let's, let's see what they're what they saying here. Don King won the, um, the pre-pandemic purse bid with a staggering amount of two million, and he was gonna stay. He was planning on staging this fight in the Congo, and he was calling it the uh, Rumble in the Jungle Part Two. And yeah, that never came to fruition. This fight is this has been dragging on for about what two years now, and there's been so m many uh, postponements and rebooking and rescheduling and this whole bunch of clusterfuck. Even up until Monday this week, then several people were reporting that the the venue hadn't been booked. Um, I think Manu Chua was complaining a couple of weeks ago that um, his hotel hadn't been booked and several things were going wrong with <laughs> the whole situation. So I've st I'm still not sure this fight takes place, like I said, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Injuries and a positive test for banned substance in 2018 have kept Char out of the ring for over three years. He was su suspended by the sanctioning body for six months. However, disputes and complications with the B sample meant he kept hold of his WBA title. Char's promoter, Errol Salen, revealed earlier this month that the venue prepared to host the January 20 29th card hadn't been booked. Several accusations from Char via his verified Instagram account aimed that King have muddied the waters on if the fight would actually take place at all. Trevor Bryan's camp believed that stories emanating from Germany to be false and that Char is doing everything, everything in his power to avoid the fight without being stripped of his title. In my opinion, I feel um, Don King and the Trevor Bryan camp, they've been playing dirty. They've been trying to, um, I think they've been trying to just get Char out the way and try and put some last minute replacement opponent on Friday for Char to for Brian to just defend his title against some random opponent. I'm pretty sure they have someone um, in, on, on the wings just waiting to step in if Char doesn't show up or if the fight doesn't take place. As fight week began, Char finally secured his travel visa and it appeared his very late arrival may save the bout. However, barely even a day later, King sent a request to WB asking them to sanction a heavyweight title bout between Trevor Bryan and former WBC heavyweight champion Bermain Stavern. This would allow Char to become a champion in recess, further clouding the WBA title picture. <laughs> you see, um, I hadn't even read the rest of this article. I was just, I was just speculating there that I felt that I felt they wanted to squeeze someone in. I didn't even hear about this Burmese Stavern situation. So yeah, here we have it. <laughs> they wanted um, Trevor Bryan to face the Vern instead of Char. That's probably what they had planned the whole time. Anyways, we'll see what happens on fight on Friday night. <laughs> oh, I love this. I remember in 2019, um, Dylan White called out Char to box for his for his belt, and Char's comments were. Here is comments. He goes, I'm not interested in a fight against Dylan White. He's not a sportsman. He's not a challenge for me. He's an, he's an irrelevant man. He has made some good fights and won, but he's not ready to fight against me. End quote. Listen, Char's not fucking around. Char's an elite sportsman. He told you guys there's an elite sportsman. He, he, he's on par with AJ, Fury. I think Char's possibly number three in the division. <laughs> So yeah, so I think this fight, Brian probably knocks Char out. I've I've, I've got Brian winning, just based off the um, Char's never been good to begin with, and he's been inactive. He hasn't fought since he picked up the belt in 2017. Brian ain't that good either, in in the in sense of the activity wise, he hasn't been fighting. He hasn't fought. He picked up his belt in 2018, and he hasn't fought since. Both men's been inactive, and yeah, the fight's gonna be interesting. But I got Brown winning. Char was knocked out by a cruiserweight. 
knocked out by Vitaly Klitschko. He's, he's never been in Vitaly, any good. He's, he's much older now, inactive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to go with Brian. Yeah, um, yeah, Brian's gonna win the fight. Brian picked up his interim belt in 2018 against um, what was his name? BJ Flores, former cruiserweight. BJ Flores, the same guy. Um, Tony Bellew bounced up up and down the canvas. Do you remember the fight where Bellew called out hey um, towards the end uh, at the end of the fight when he kicked over the tumbler on and called out hey. Yeah, that same BJ Flores. That's who Brian picked up his belt from in 2018. It's interim WBA interim heavyweight world title, and yeah, he hasn't fought since. Char picked up his um, WBA um, super world title against Ustinov in 2017. Both men been very very inactive, so this fight should be interesting for all the wrong reasons press press conference yeah i'm all i'm all up in that <laughs> i'm all up in the press conference i want to see what um char has to say and yeah i want to see don king i want to see char go go at don king because this whole um venue situation this whole postponement situation this whole there's a whole bunch of needles and a whole lot of talking points relating to this fight and um yeah i'm probably gonna make another video regarding this fight probably on friday probably on friday right after the press conference or around the waiting times yeah look out for another video regarding this fight so leave your thoughts in the comment section below how do you see this fight going is there even gonna be a fight on friday let me know also don't forget to like and subscribe i'm out